Hey guys, hey, have an amazing Sunday. Hope you are enjoying this hot summer day and you are outside uh, on the beach and swimming in the lake or whatever you enjoying with your family. So today I'm bringing you news about Ethereum and also how Ethereum can uh, <laughs> flip Bitcoin. So let's get into our uh, news. My name is Miklos Denkler from Core MX. I'm bringing you daily crypto news. So let's share my screen. And you see that the market is almost in green. Few coins are just correcting. That uh, did a huge bump in the previous days, weeks. As you see, Axis Infinity is, in, is now in minus 10. ICP is plus uh, 25. T Fuel almost 9, Tarcoin 10, and Theta 10%. So that looks pretty good. And check our news about Ethereum. So the first news from Lubin. So he started at the very beginning with Vitalik Buterin. And he says that there is an enormous demand for Ethereum right after London hard fork. I hope you see my screen and the live is going well. So he's the co-founder of Ethereum and also a full stack blockchain company. Consensus is the founder of Consensus. Consensus is one of the biggest uh, Ethereum developer company. Okay, so Lubin stated, uh, uh, there are signs that the demand surge is likely to push the price of Ethereum upwards after the London hard fork goes live on mainnet. So we know that London hard fork will happen on 4th of August. And after that, he is that Ethereum will go up in price. Okay, so he was speaking in an interview and explained uh, why, what is the reason he's afraid. And he pointed out like other Ethereum upgrade geared towards uh, transitioning to ETH 2.0, the London hard fork, hard fork, which is set to go live on mainnet by all speculations, bring several improvements to the work. Okay, among the improvements, significant one to be the fact that the upgrade will make Ether supply deflationary, alluding to AIP 1559. So this is the most important thing that the Ethereum supply will be deflationary. So now the Ethereum supply is inflationary. And uh, before this time, it, uh, it had been inflationary. But with this uh, upgrade, miners will no longer receive new currency for verifying and adding transactions to the blockchain. And the transaction fees will rather be burned by the network. So thereby reducing supply of Ether in the long run. So I think as uh, it will be up and running and we will see how much Ether uh, have been burned and, and uh, how much Ether is getting out from, from the circulating supply, then I think we will see a nice run up in Ethereum. And uh, in, in December or January, Ethereum will, uh, <coughs> will shift from proof of work mechanism to proof of stake, and it will be more an energy efficient, the proof of stake mechanism uh, will be uh, more energy efficient, not consuming uh, energy. So 60 billion worth of Ether is currently locked in smart contracts on DeFi protocols on the ETH. So guys, all DeFi and the ETH 2.0, they are out of the circulation. So they are not participating in the circulating supply. And uh, it's also, they cannot, uh, they cannot cause selling pressure on the market because they are just locked up. Okay. A speculation that upgrades will push Ethereum to flip Bitcoin. So also we will talk about this happening. Uh, that uh, Ethereum is flipping in few uh, characteristic or already Bitcoin, but uh, we used to 
uh, speak about flipping when flipping in market cap. Okay. Ethereum has been surpassing Bitcoin in the number of transaction, transactions settled and amount of fees paid for transactions with Ethereum currently performing about three times more transaction than Bitcoin on chain and even Ethereum applications Uniswap included are taking in more fees than the Bitcoin network. So which makes a strong case for growing Ethereum adoption and the spec, uh, speculated price surge. So that's huge that uh, three times more transactions are uh, three times more transactions than Bitcoin, performing three times more transactions than Bitcoin on chain. So the next piece of news, crypto analyst predicts 430% rally for Ethereum says Bitcoin flippering likely. Okay. So he is capo and he says that the first fifth wave will enter perform Bitcoin and the be likely. And uh, he is long on ETH, ETH BTC. So this is it against Bitcoin. Uh, I cannot make it bigger, but uh, you see that we have higher highs and, and higher lows on the chart. And now we are in this formation. Actually, this is a, a, a the ascending triangle and we can expect that Ethereum will just continue uh, its way up here. Okay, so he believes that ETH will peak about 10,000 US dollar by next year, making a 340% surge. Okay, the cycle top will be about 10,000 according to his opinion. And he sees all divergences and the fact that the extension after such, such accumulation period 2018-2020 has been too short, it makes me think that, that we will see another leg up. So bearing this divergence here and also this run up. Okay. He is also bullish on DOT, but uh, he's waiting uh, to break uh, more ski key support level so getting higher highs on the chart so he uh, he will go bullish uh, as not reaching this key level against bitcoin okay so the next piece of news also about ethereum because today we are talking about ethereum could skyrocket over 860 <coughs> percent in 2022 predicts top analyst Kaleo, okay, in so he sees some similarity back in 2017, 400 to below 200 in one month before skyrocketing to its 2018 high of 1440. Let's check this chart, <clears throat> okay? So here we, here we are. Uh, this is uh, 2017, Jan uh, January, Ethereum was at uh, six uh, US dollar, then. Uh, uh, run up to 400 US dollar <coughs> and now then corrected back to one, uh, 140. So that was a huge drop. Let's see what was the percentage. So that was almost 60, 66 or 67 percent drop in price. And uh, it took, let's say, 210 days to recover to that level. And from that point, Ethereum just run up another almost 10 times. So that's huge, guys. Okay. Back in 2017, right around a year after the halving, there was a 60% decline. So that as I showed you, we are right around the same length of the period of the time after the halving and similar type of decline and at the support. There are a lot of things lining up there as far as high time frame bullishness is concerned. Okay. <clears throat> so he sees 
uh, in a, on high time frame support and route to a new all time high of 18 July 2022. So 18,000 by July 2022. And that would mean almost eight times ROI from here. The current price was uh, 1,870. Okay. So he says he's open to reevaluating his stance uh, should ETH break below its high time frame support, <coughs> which currently hovers around 1,700. So this is the high time frame support, and he sees that. Uh, uh, his prediction should be reevaluated. The age would broke down 1,700. Okay, said before that uh, second half of 2021, Bitcoin enters six discovery, so almost uh, 100,000 US dollar. ETH breaks about 10 dollar. Okay, also let's see. Uh, what else do we have? Micro Fund and Pop is also looking at Ethereum. Ethereum is back at support after rejecting at 2400, a crucial area, and now uh, we are getting closer to 2400. That's for sure. Okay, the next piece of news. This is why Ethereum could flip Bitcoin according to Point Bureau. So, Coin Bureau, given that DeFi is largely dependent, the analyst says the possible surge in adoption of decentralized finance protocols could fuel ETH toward becoming the biggest crypto on the market. <clears throat> Once the upgrades go through, the demand for the smart contracts, cryptocurrencies is going to go through the roof for one reason, DeFi. The ads you can find on even five protocols are much higher than anything uh, any decentralized finance institution can currently offer to you. Basically, made uh, any yield below five to six percent a break even number. This is why institutional investors have been flipping into DeFi. Okay, so Bitcoin is still recovering from its hash rate collapse. Ethereum has been comparably unaffected and this decentralized financial ecosystem has likewise remained stable. <clears throat> Ethereum 2.0 staking is coming and now available Thank at the so bank. So guys, do you see during when Ethereum reached the highest high, the all time high against Bitcoin, that was in January 2018. And that time, uh, Ethereum peaked at 0 0.12, and that was the highest peak. And that time, Ethereum market cap was 75% of Bitcoin market cap. And if Bitcoin would reach the same level, that uh, would come closer to Bitcoin market cap. And as we checked in the beginning of the video, uh, Ethereum should uh, do a 2, 2.5x that uh, overcome and flipping Bitcoin's market cap. And if we are just um, proposing that Bitcoin will not increase in price, but if, we'll, if Bitcoin will increase, that also Ethereum should increase uh, at least 2.5 higher speed that to overcome Bitcoin. So this is how it is, and as you see that, that that was a huge downtrend in Ethereum price against Bitcoin, and this downtrend has been broken uh, in this year April, and fr from that uh, we we have uh, seen a huge spike, up spike here, and now Ethereum is in a descending triangle against Bitcoin, and now ready to break up or down. But as this is a bullish pattern with a huge uh, flag then it used to be uh, just break down so this is that uh, definitely you should check out that not just ethereum against usd but ethereum against bitcoin because this chart will help us also to trade 
Ethereum against Bitcoin and uh, more, more, make more profit uh, with Ethereum and also just uh, uh, following when Ethereum can flip in Bitcoin. So thank you for watching. Please smash the like, subscribe, push the bell notification on and see you tomorrow.